Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. First of all, let me just start by saying Happy New Year. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas, a uh, wonderful New Year, New Year's Eve. I hope you had lots of celebrations. Um, I know we're still in like a shitty time with the next lockdown, um, but I hope you managed to see some of your family, obviously, that were allowed. Um, and I, I just hope you had a a time full of you know laughter and just forgetting all that's going on at the moment saying that let's move on to the reason why i'm doing this video today and it is to basically show off my snazzy new roller skates which i'm so excited for should i just show you them now yeah so i'm just gonna show you them now okay so these are my new pride and joy here they are, I don't really know how else to show you them. They're just your typical roller skate, four wheels, uh, stopper, and they are from the brand Real. Yep. Um, and I love the colour, the kind of minty peach colour scheme. Um, I did pick them up myself, but let me just tell you why I've got them. So, I'm sure you have all seen the TikTok videos of the skaters and they're skating along to uh, Fleetwood Mac. Um, I'll sing a little snippet so we don't get copyrighted where it's like, uh, now there you go again, you say you want your freedom. Okay, that's enough so we don't get copyrighted. Um, so I'm sure you've all seen those videos. Um, I saw a lot of them before Christmas and I was like, oh my God, that looks so fun. Now I used to have a pair of like roller blades, the ones where it's like four wheels in a row. When I was younger, me and my friends used to go to the local park where they had like a big rink that you could go on. And I used to absolutely love it. And this, watching those videos just made me think, wow, I really wish that I could do that at that level that everyone's doing on there. So I, uh, <laughs> My boyfriend was like, what do you want for Christmas? And I was like, can I have a pair of roller skates? And he was like, roller skates? Why? So I was like, I want to get my skate on, you know, like, <laughs> just want to be like the TikTokers. And he was like, couldn't you do it? And I was like, yeah, like I used to be okay at rollerblading. Um, like I can't, never used to do tricks or anything because I was probably like 14, 13, something like that. Um, but you know, I could skate around easily without holding on to anything, which is always a good start. So I was like, yeah, can I have a pair of roller skates? He was like, sure, like, I want to get you something that you want. So yeah, I'll do it. Um, so I helped him look for a pair because it was quite difficult um, sizing wise. Because I remember years ago when I got rollerblades, they told you to size up. So I'm a size seven, meaning that I should get a size eight. But then some websites, said you can just get your normal shoe size we care so he needed my help to pick the right pair and pick the right size um which we did so uh i finally landed on these beautiful things and as you can tell i have used them the laces are all a bit skew with i don't know why i'm coming i'm like coming across all like i don't know like a, like a, like i need fleas or something but i can't let's try and get this out my system leave okay so got these off i think it's just real a real roller is it the smell that's doing it to me my feet smell that bad i don't think so anyway got this off the real roller website i think it is um so it just has a little label at the back like i said i'm obsessed with the color it kind of wasn't my original color scheme that i wanted i think i just wanted something like black and like plain but then i love these um, I'm obsessed with them. Mum also got me this matching bag and like fully kitted out, you know. This bag, which I didn't expect him to get me, um, quite frankly. Uh, it is pretty handy though for obviously when you're going out taking your roller skates, you can just pop them in here. So it has just a little, little Velcro strap and then some zips here. little flap and then you pop your roller skates in uh, just like so pop them in and you can carry them around 
which is pretty handy to be fair. So we got the beautiful bag and to my despair, he also bought me a helmet, which I said, please don't get me one because I do not suit helmets. I mean, I know it's safety first, but I do not have the face shape to pull off a helmet. But I do agree that it is the best to keep safe, especially when you're like out on like, I don't know if you're on a road or even just on like tarmac or something. Um, I knew he was gonna get me a helmet because I came out the bathroom once and he approached me with a tape measure and wrapped it around my head. And the first thing I said was, please don't get me a helmet. Wow, what was I saying? That I didn't want a helmet. Yeah, but alas, he got me one. And I do think it's the smart option to be fair. And it's not a bad helmet. Like it's just white, it's kind of like peachy there as well. And it matches the color scheme of the skates, which is always good to match. Um, I have yet to get some knee pads, arm pads and wrist band thingies. I should order them and I was against getting some, but after almost falling on my ass multiple times, just in here, um, yeah, going outside, I think it's definitely a good idea to stop me breaking a bone because touch wood, I've never broken a bone in my life and I don't plan on doing it now. So I'm not opposed to getting the protective gear. Um, so yeah, now, as for the skating, I am by no means a pro. Um, let's say I put these on on Christmas day. Um, everyone wanted to see me put them on and Martin's dad was literally in hysterics, laughing at me because I couldn't even stand up on them. <laughs> it has been many, many years since I'd put a pair of skates, anything with wheels on. I did used to have a pair of those trainers that everyone used to have where they had wheels on, what the Heelys or something. But again, I was never like fantastic on those. So yeah, everyone had a good laugh at my expense. Now, I've only really practiced um, at Martin's house, just in the front room where there's a bit of like laminate flooring when no one was in. Because I don't want to get shouted at for potentially marking the floor. Um, and also on this floor here in the cottage, I will insert a clip here of me having a little skate around. Okay, so as you can see, I'm not a pro. Um, Martin usually just sits and chills and laughs at me while I have my little skate. He always knows when I'm about to put the skates on because I push this table um, to the side and he's like, oh, skating time is it oh, but i'm really getting better even martin said he could notice like the difference um compared to like last week when i had them back in stockton obviously now we're back in scotland um because martin's back at work i feel a lot steadier on on them now compared to when i first got them I think it was just, you know, I was a bit rusty. Um, I hadn't put them on in so long. Um, but these are actually really, really comfortable. Um, I looked on the reviews and some people said they weren't good. They hurt your, um, uh, what's it called? Your yeah, ankles. Um, but I haven't experienced anything of that. Like my toes might hurt a little bit um, afterwards, but that's probably only because I'm like trying so hard not to fall. I'm sure when I get more comfortable and more skilled, that'll be okay. Um, Martin did tighten them for me the other day because they were a bit loose. Um, and I noticed straight away that when they're super, super tight, um, they feel a lot sturdier is the word that I would use. I'm definitely getting a lot more confident and a lot more sturdier on them. I've been watching YouTube videos to try and learn like, the proper way to do it and if potentially learn some tricks so i've been practicing i think they're called bubbles when you go like this <laughs> if you know what i mean um i would try to insert a clip here but they're not very good but um i tried to do one backwards the other day so i might insert that if i'm happy with the with the video 
do need some more practice. But I'm eager, eager, eager to get out onto like, like outside. I just don't know where is best to go. Um, in here where we're in Scotland, there's not a lot of places nearby because just outside it's all gravel. Um, and then it's like a, a country road, which wouldn't be too bad, but a lot of cars do come um, up and down it quite often. And I don't think I'm quite confident to kind of get out the way. Also, there's a bit of a hill. Um, so it's not the best. So I'm thinking like when we go back home to Stockton on those like alternate weekends, where would be best to go? And Martin said maybe like a car park. Um, obviously we're in lockdown. So he said like one of the multi-story car parks might like might be okay to go in there because there's gonna be no cars. Um, but we'll see. I need a big haul or something. You know, like the roller skating rinks that you see like in American movies where they've got like 80s music, 70s music on and they're all just skating around. I need something like that. Preferably with nobody in it though. Just myself so I don't embarrass myself straight away. <laughs> um, I don't really know what more I can say on the skates. Um, I feel like I should give you like a review or something but I can't really say much more about it other than they're comfortable. Um, obviously they just lace up then they have like these little hooks here so you can pull them as tight or have them as loose as you want them. I have had no problems with the wheels. Um, some videos have said that they needed to tighten their wheels but I've had no problems with the wheels whatsoever at the moment. The stoppers are fine. I've had no problems with them. Um, what else? Everything just seems like Everything seems okay. Bear in mind, I'm not a professional. Like, I don't really know the difference between skates. Like, I know you can get, like, uh, professional skates and these are, am like, amateur ones. Um, obviously, for beginners. That's kind of it. In terms of the skiing, um, I will say that I've picked up a few tricks to make sure that you don't fall as much. I might do another video about that maybe yeah and when i get better i will definitely post like more videos of like me progressing hopefully if that's what you want to see okay so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you do want to see some little tips on beginning roller skating um i can do that for you if you want um yeah and let me know if you have any skates if you have any of these real roller skates or if you have any tips for me because i would absolutely love that um, yeah, so thank you for watching and I hope to see you as soon. As soon? Oh, I hope to see you soon. Bye!